Hey all Rusty R Fair TV, welcome! Made it to Sturgis! Yay! Just leaving kickstands. I'm set up here back uh, where I stayed last year at Kickstands Campground. I'll do a video on these guys uh, where I'm staying here in a couple days later this week. We're gonna get back on I-90. I want to run into Sturgis, drive around town. It's a few days before the big rally starts. See what's happening. All right, here we go. Been kind of raining almost every day in the afternoon. Some thunder bumpers coming through. Not bad. A little humid. There's the campground on the right. I stayed here last year. Had a good time. I want to make a quick stop up here. The Black Hills National Cemetery is up here. It's really a unique place. Uh, I stopped here last year. So let's check it out. Alright, this is exit 34 off I-90. You know, off to the right there's, uh, I think it's uh, Fort Meade. There's a huge veterans hospital. And uh, this is part of the Fort Meade. It's a big recreation area. You can camp in there, I guess. One thing about South Dakota, it's veteran everything. Kind of a really cool. All right, here it is. I stopped here last year and filmed it a little bit. Thought I'd do it one more time. Really kind of hits home. A lot of my family was military. So, thought we'd pay a little respect here. Thousands of people visit this, especially during the rally. It's always full of visitors. Back at that building, you can uh, look up, if you know anyone's name or anything like that, you can look that up as well. Alrighty, I'm going to get up here, park, walk around a little bit, and we'll pay our respects.
Alrighty, well let's head on into Sturgis, see what's happening. If you ever get a chance, stop here. A lot of these national cemeteries, I, I'm going to make a point to uh, look for them. Like I said, it hits home. Alright, let's go check out Sturgis Bike Rally is coming up 80th. There's a lot of conversation about what's going on here. Me personally, I'm avoiding the crowds. I'm just going to film it from the van and car. I'm staying on way out to the campground. And go from there. On all the radio stations, everything here, they're estimating quarter million people heading in. I guess quite a few of the Canadians aren't coming down because of the pandemic, but uh, there's, that's still a pretty hefty crowd. All right, design 90, we're looking for exit 32. Yay. I'm going to take a drive. Last year I didn't do it. This year I'll, I'm going to drive up through uh, Deadwood. Probably make a little day run up through there. There's a canyon called Spearfish Canyon. Want to check that out. That will be another video coming up. And a big old rally. Look at all the green grass. Don't see that in Arizona. <laughs> Looking good. Coming up through Wyoming, wasn't that a nice ride? I enjoyed that. And all this Black Hill region. You know, Custer was cool. That little RV park there was neat. The bicycle sculpture. Go figure, huh? There had been a thousand bikes wrapped up in that thing. <laughs> All right, here it is. Little town of Sturgis. I think we got a population around six or seven thousand. And it explodes. It you know it's kind of like the summertime quartzite. You know where quartzite's three or four thousand people, and then in the winter you get a half million RVers. Here you get the bikers, which a lot are RVers too. You see a ton of RVs. There's campgrounds and RV parks everywhere around here. I've also noticed quite a few of these little cabins. They're setting up cabins on some of these campgrounds. Which would be a, kind of a cool way to travel. I know kickstands, they have some cabins there to rent. Alright, right off to the right, there's the famous Welcome to Sturgis sign. All the bikers stop and get selfies there. Alright, we'll cruise down and should still be able to drive down Main Street. Still, I don't think they block it off yet. They shouldn't. Probably see a few vendors setting up. You know, I was talking to the owners out there at Kickstands, uh, and they're telling me they have huge ATV rallies here, four-wheelers. I didn't realize how many trails they said they goes for hundreds of miles of trails. 
all over in the rally. I think it's, uh, oh God, I forget. I think they said like end of May, 1st of June. Of course, this year is probably screwed, but because uh, of the virus. But the rally is not as big as the bike thing, but it's up there. of residential. I was also told a lot of these people, they leave their houses <laughs> or rent them out. Can't blame them. Why not? They're gone for a couple weeks. Okay, we should be getting close. I'll also, this year, I'll drive out to that, what is they call it, Buffalo Chip, Full Throttle Saloon. Not during the rally before. All right, here we go. I think this is Main Streeter. There's a big vendor setting up right there. Look at all the t-shirts, wow. That's a big tent. Some bikes. Shops are open. Big banner, Harley Davidson. Looks like they're getting ready. And the attorneys. <laughs> Look at the old buildings. I love this kind of architecture. Beef. We got some beef. Official food of Sturgis. Beef. Hotel Sturgis. All right, that's about the end of it. Sturgis isn't very big. Up here's the bars. Well, there's bars everywhere. But, uh, it's a quick look. I'll walk down through here with when the rally's going. Just walk the streets when all the bikes are lined up. Here's those big bars on both sides of the road. Last year they were packed. In the street you can't drive it. It's all covered in bikes. Motorcycles can more tent setting up so the vendors are setting up it's getting close all right well they got a little grocery store here I need to stop get a couple supplies before I head back to campground anyway we're back in Sturgis yay Gonna be here a few days. Gonna meet up with Kurt and Kendra, my wind stuff. They're out at the Iron Horse campground. I'll be out there too. All right, more vendors there setting up. The amount of t-shirts they sell here is crazy. Well, here's a store. I'm going to pull back here. Maybe we can get a quick uh, aerial shot here, too. Look at the big Sturgis sign up on the hill. Oh, 
Up we go. Check it out. That's an RV park back in there, too. I didn't know that. Sturgis sign up on the hill. Pan around. And here's Sturgis. You can see it's not that big of a town. But it will be full, full. <laughs> 80th motorcycle rally. 80 years. There it is. Kind of cool, huh? get landed. That's just a quick look. went in store got all stocked up the fridge and freezer are working so good that freezer hasn't missed a beat I've had ice the whole time I have not bought one bag of ice on the road I just keep those frozen water bottles in there As a matter of fact I'm even gonna get some ice trays I'm gonna try to just make some ice in it too but it's working really really good it's big enough I can keep a couple frozen things in there, which work out great. Alrighty, well, this video is getting a little long. Let's cut this one off. Next video, I'm going to be running around. I don't know where exactly, but you'll be seeing a lot of this area over the next uh, few videos. Alright, I hope, once again, everything is safe in your neck of the world. The RVR TV Virtual Vacation 2020 is just getting going. <laughs> Talk soon.